Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to dive right on into more new makeup, except for this time, instead of the drugstore, we're gonna hit up the higher end type of a thing here. I have new stuff. We're talking Makeup by Mario. I have Makeup Forever's Rebooted Foundation. We have a little Dior. We have some Patrick Ta. I have pretty much been hands off of newer launches for so long. I got in that full on rut of just doing the same makeup, the same makeup, the same makeup. And now that I'm back and wanting to do makeup on camera and give reviews, I don't know, the thirst and hunger came back so quickly and I cannot get enough. And who else is feeling excited about makeup again? I think we're all finally in this season of not being so restricted and at home and we wanna feel beautiful and good and get out there again. And I am so thrilled to have that mood kind of be out there even when shopping for makeup. Anyone else experiencing this? It's a joyful time. Let's dive right in. Okay, this is the Reboot Makeup Forever Professional Foundation. This is going to brighten, smooth, firm, hydrate, and even out. I'm the shade Y315. Let's hope. There are plenty of shades. You get a little over an ounce. I'm gonna use my couple dollar uh, palette from JCat Beauty that I talked about in the best of the year video. And I already have primed my face. I'm using my normal, typical go-to primers. The Tatcha I'm using for a little hydration if I need it, like on my forehead. And then I also still am very in love with the Tarte smoothing uh, primer. The consistency of this is really nice. It's very thin. It's not a thick whipped or thicker creamy texture perfect for uh, this heat wave. That's not even really a heat wave that I'm in here in Seattle. Well, it kind of is. For it to be 100 degrees in Seattle is a big deal. Not having air conditioning, whew, I'm like, honestly, James and I were considering going to a hotel. I'm not even joking. Like, we're like, we can't do this. This is just too much. So there's that. What was I saying? This is nice. Okay. This is like very thin texture, but it has some punch to it. It is covering quite nicely, but it doesn't feel heavy like a thicker full coverage, thicker foundation would feel. Wow, this is like a no makeup makeup. It's evening the skin out so nicely. Like I look very even toned, a little more hydrated, pores blurred a little bit. Like there's definitely that nice effect of, oh, I put on some makeup, but it's natural. I used to obsess over Laura Mercier's, I think it was five steps to a flawless face. And I saved up so much money. Well, back in the day, it was like $25 for a brush. I'm on minimum wage here. I can't even like, oh my gosh. That and the secret camouflage duo, like, okay, let's like save those, those dollar bills up. And I went to the mall and had my makeup done and all the steps to a flawless face. And I remember loving that duo back in the day when I did have trouble with covering, you know, really intense breakouts. So this is their secret camouflage, which I'm assuming is a similar formula, but in a wand duo. Now one side is going to be a brightening and the other is for correcting. I have three N. I'm gonna go under the eye first to do a little brightening. I normally don't like creamy concealers under the eye, but you know, in effort of just trying new techniques, trying new things, I saw this and was very intrigued because I have a memory tied to it. Did that camouflage me enough? Is it gonna crease? Is it not gonna crease? It looks really natural. I'm so on the fence. Do I wanna look like I'm wearing makeup or do I not? I don't know, I don't know. Honestly, sometimes I feel like I wanna look like I'm wearing makeup and I want people to be like, hey, nice makeup. I'm like, yes, thank you, I put effort in. And other times you wanna be like, yes, woke up like this, that's me. Um, so I say have option for both in your um, skill set. I like this side. Hello. Ooh. Spots be gone. Whoa. Why do I feel like with how much I'm covering on my cheeks, I should just be like going like this, you know? 
it's working. This is working. It is very much working. And I still look pretty natural. Next up, I have a new product and new brand to me. I have never tried anything from this brand. It is called Merit. This is a clean brand. It is a vegan formula. It's 38 bucks, a little, it, okay, fine. A lot up there in price, especially for what you get. You only get 3.7 grams of product, but the packaging is gorgeous. It's this stick type crayon little guy that looks like it will be perfect for contour. You could use this as concealer or foundation or contour. And it just kind of did one of these to me where I'm like, I must try this. I have never heard of you. Who are you? You know, Merit Beauty. I'm gonna do my typical contour, cream contour situation with this guy, blend everything out, and then we will move right along. Okay, pigmentation. Okay, I like it. I'm not loving it immediately. It's a little more difficult to blend, maybe better suited as concealer and spot concealer on the face versus a contour. The shape of it is perfect for getting right in those contour spots. So if this were a little more emollient, it would be very, very convenient. I wanna explore more from the brand. Something that is driving me a little bit, um, mm, is that I can see so much through here. Yes, I have a few teeny tiny breakouts right here. I have not had a facial in over a year. Like that needs to be put on the calendar stat. COVID hit and I was like, no one's touching me. I think we all went through a little bit of that panic where I'm like, I'm not getting my hair done. No facials, no one's touching me, get away from me. And now I'm just like, it's time. It's time to unclog the clogged pores. You know what I'm saying? So I think I wanna take a little something extra just to conceal right here before I would put on any powder. I'm gonna bust into my RCMA palette just because this is very intensely pigmented and typically will just give me what I need if there's an area on the face that is requiring just a little more coverage. Patrick Ta has a new cream blush duo system, and you guys know I love a cream blush. The shade is literally called She's That Girl, and I am that girl. I love a cream blush. Now, the cool thing about this that I love so much, you have your cream and you have a powder. This means your blush is gonna wear all day long when you do a cream first and then you do a powder, which is kind of why we do foundation that's a cream and then we set it to be budge proof with powder. You're locking things in. And I love that this is in one compact, all in one cream powder, boom, done. Obviously going in with the cream first, it coats the brush really nicely. I always with cream specifically kind of go off the back of my hand first, just in case it is like, wow, uh, tons of pigmentation. And this is such a bright color that I just don't know how this is gonna go down. Ooh, ooh, that is beautiful. I'm using a fluffy, kind of an angled brush from Dior. I have found for some reason, this is a great shape brush for cream products. Oh my, I love this a lot. Oh my goodness, this is such a romantic, juicy blush. Like it makes the skin just look like, well, it is hot here, but it makes it look like heated up in a like really beautiful way. And I have these new little cute guys from Huda Beauty. This is more of an on the go, under the eye, set it and forget it and set it later again, type of a little poofy sponge powder thingamajig. This is in the shade Blondie. Do I wanna do? I'm gonna do pound cake actually. This is what I normally use 
to set my foundation, but I just think this is such a cute little guy to really get in specific areas of the face. Just if you're on the go and you prefer an actual loose powder, I think it's super cute. Now for me, when I'm doing my makeup at home, I full on like we're doing the palette thing and we're putting the powder down and we are just gonna take our, you know, kind of slightly still damp beauty blender, pick up a little bit of the powder and really set the face. But I love the convenience factor of this being an on the go little poofy loose powder, throw it in the purse, you're good, I love it. We get some of those creases out of there before we set it. We are now gonna go into some new Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder, No Powder. This is in the shade 3N. I am obsessed with the size of the pan here because you can easily get enough on a larger brush to do on the face and take to the body. So that is exciting to me. I love the tone of this. I think Dior makes incredible powders, just the, the softness of them. They usually work out really well. Of course, it's more luxury but you do get what you pay for with Dior powder products, in my opinion. Rarely, rarely disappointed. They make some beautiful, beautiful highlighters. And just their face stuff in general, like their Air Flash has been just one of my diehard faves for years. I'm gonna take this down the neck a little bit. Yeah, that just set everything really beautifully and just added a little hint of warmth, which is what I was looking for. And now I'm going to take a fresh brush, go back into the blush, grab a little bit of the powder from the Patrick Ta Duo, rebrighten this area right here. I'm gonna go into these guys for highlight, which are not technically highlighters, but Anything shiny that you wanna put on the face and you feel good about it, go for it. I have the shade Quartz. I have the shade Bronzite, Bronzette, Bronzite. I'm gonna go in with the shade Quartz. These are $24. I've worn these on the eyes, um, but I really especially love this shimmer. It is a bold, chunky, like specifically glimmery, shimmery, borderline glittery shimmer if you put it on the face just be forewarned. I really like the look of it, but I'm also totally obsessed with glitter. You might not be in that same realm as I am with how much I'm just like anything shiny. So I'm gonna go right ahead in here and just pull this on the face, a little on the nose. I just, it's just satisfying is what it is. It's satisfying. Moving on to lips, Huda Beauty came out with this gorgeous collection of lip liners and lipsticks. This is the shade Rusty Pink. These are so creamy. I really, really love these. Isn't that so beautiful? It's, I almost just could put a gloss on top and be done, but I do want to pat on a little bit of lipstick. I'm gonna use the shade Angel, which is like, I just wanna show you really quickly. Beautiful, right? Let's check out some of the others really quick. Honey Bun. Ooh, that's pretty too. No, I like Angel better. That one is Empress. I think Angel is for the win right now. And because more is more, I'm gonna go in with Forget the Filler Gloss from Lawless. Ooh. That was annoyed. That was a, deserves a second. That's a thick gloss, but it feels, very nice. All right, I'm gonna pull the camera forward. We will get to the eyes. Before we get into the eyes, we are going to try to master the brows with this Kosas Brow Pop Dual Action Defining Pencil. I have the shade Medium Brown. I have been in an ongoing battle with my brows recently where they just don't really exist and I want more of them to exist. 
at a bad night with a pair of tweezers. We've all been there where you get a little too aggressive and then you're like, oh my gosh, I actually have nothing left. So that's what we're dealing with. Let's just hope for the best. I mean, that is a dramatic difference, right? Not the greatest, not the worst. Being honest, my favorite way to do brows right now is actually just to go in with this guy right here, which is really intended to cover up any root issues you have. I love using this in the brows because the consistency of the powder kind of just adheres to your brow hairs really nicely, but I kind of got the craving to find a new brow pencil again, which is why I've been trying all of these guys and, you know, looking to figure it out. I like the color of this. I just, I'm looking for a bolder brow these days, you know? I love this packaging though. This packaging is like satisfying. There's something about that like see-through, just, I don't, isn't it satisfying? And you have kind of a really interesting shape. Oh my gosh, I got foundation in my hair. I can fix this. Where were we? I have two palettes from Makeup by Mario. I have the Master Mattes. I don't understand this. I also have the Master Metallics, which I'm guessing you can use wet or dry. Those are pretty. The metal palette is $48. That's up there, definitely. You get five shadows. They are very beautiful. I don't have the mixing medium, but I am gonna use some type of liquid to manipulate them into more of that intense metallic finish. This guy right here just looked like such a pretty palette with all of your mattes. So I'm gonna go in with a matte kind of smoky chocolate and then play around with the metallics on top. Then I am gonna go in with the Makeup by Mario Master Pigment Pro Pencil. This is in the shade The Perfect Brown and that is a very basic name for a shade. However, it grabbed me. I was like, the perfect brown, perfect. I'm like, that word just sells me every single time. And Makeup by Mario is an incredibly talented makeup artist. I think that he knows so much about colors, what goes well together, what's flattering. And I have hope for this one to work out really nicely. And I think you get a pencil sharpener in here as well. I'm gonna use Their Real Magnet Mascara by Benefit. We've got our shadow, our liner, our mascara. I'm gonna pop on some Scott Barnes lashes and that will be the eye look. Let's dive right on in. Same color, but a different brush. I'm gonna go in with a Scott Barnes 62, still an ultimate must have favorite brush. What I like to do right now when I'm just wanting to really deepen up the crease, have it be blown out, but still defined is I will start out with a fluffy brush. I will go back in with a thinner, more precise brush like this, same color though, and continue building. I think my camera is overheating this heat wave. Hey, James.
I have to say I really love a lot of what I tried, not all of it, but a lot of what I tried. I enjoy the eye makeup is fantastic. Makeup by Mario did a great job. The colors really range in intensity. They're very buildable, but just very smooth all together. And the metallics pack a huge punch. I feel like my eyes look blue, like they're just like drong, like they just look so brightened. I took, you know, some of the metallic with a liquid underneath the lower lash line. Very happy with the eye look. I feel dramatic and fresh and metallic at the same time. I'm excited to have found those two palettes. I'm on the fence about the brow. The face altogether is surprisingly feeling pretty good. The Makeup Forever foundation is really light, which is what I need for a day like today. I'm happy I went in with a little more concealer from RCMA. The under eye concealer situation, every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, I like it. No, no. Yes, no, so I'm kind of on the fence. I just personally really like a liquid concealer. That's my thing. But you know, it's nice to try some new things once in a while, and that's what this video is all about. Hey, P.S., the Their Real Magnet Mascara is so nice, especially on the lower lash line. It went on so easily, no smudging, no budging, didn't clump together. I'm really impressed with this. And as a send off, I am going to go ahead and mist the face with the Dior Forever Perfect Fix so that I can be forever perfect until I wash my face tonight. I really like this makeup. Let's lock it all in. Burns my nose a little. It smells like a garden. I don't know if that's healthy for the skin, but it's pleasing. All right, we're gonna leave it at that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and like it. Leave me comments of what you would like to see in the future on my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and do that so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'm back to posting a lot and filming a lot and I'm loving it. And just thank you guys so, so much. You're making my heart so happy. I'm having a ton of fun just getting back into the makeup. It feels so good. And I hope you're having a good one, whatever you are doing. I love you. And I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.